Hey everyone, this is going to be my what's in my hospital bag video. Um, I've been asked quite a few times for a while now if I'm going to do one and when I'm going to do it. I'm almost 38 weeks and whatnot. So I'm finally getting around to doing it. I have had Kaylin's bag packed for about a week and a half now, maybe even two weeks. Um, but for my bag, I had everything pretty much together, but there are still a couple things that I need to get. So now that I have everything, um, I finally got it in the suitcase. It's all organized. Um, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and go into my bag first and then we'll go from there. And I have my um, computer sitting right here on the side that has a list of everything. Um, even though I'm not really going to go by that, I'm just going by, I'm just going to show you what's in here. Um, and then I will put my list in the description box down below, um, so if you're curious. Um, but, yeah, and I'm just going to tilt the camera down so it'll probably have a funny angle. You'll probably get a funny view of my belly and even of the bag. But I'd rather show you the bag than showing me just holding up stuff. So, we'll go ahead and get started. Already sitting out, I have the bags that are pretty much ready to go. I have... Kaylin's diaper bag right there, boppy pillow, the brown suitcases, mine and hubby's, and then I have my camera bag, which it's not all in there. I have my camera, camcorder, chargers, plugins for the computer, all that kind of stuff in there. Um, so yeah, and I also plan on taking my tripod um, that I don't know if we'll use it or not, but I want to have it. Um, for the camcorder. Um, we also have a small tabletop fan that we are going to take with us. My husband loves, um, not loves, he has to have the sound of a fan and a fan blowing on him to be able to sleep. And it's so funny because my doctor actually um, mentioned something about a fan like if you like to have a fan on you when you sleep or just the noise of a fan then you might want to bring one and my husband was like oh I so am <laughs> so we have a little fan that we're going to bring it's just going to be in the car and if we need it then he'll run out and get it um so yeah that's everything um the only thing that's the other thing that's missing is um the bag that will have some of the other things like the accessories and everything that I'll go into a little bit more detail with um, when I show you the bag. So I'll go ahead and get started and show you what's inside. All right, hello Belly, little Kaylin, we're ready for you. Okay, so this is my suitcase and my husband's because he doesn't need much, no need for a whole nother bag. Um, it is a carry-on size rolling travel bag. Um, and I like, these suitcases a lot better than duffel bags just because I don't feel like everything gets shuffled around and everything's neat and organized. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you kind of what's in the top pockets and then we'll open it up. So in the top pocket up here, I just have a couple things for breastfeeding. I have lanolin cream that will probably come in handy and breast pads and I have I think I have four sets in here. So that should be good. I don't want to get too many because, you know, they say that you really don't need them, like, just in the hospital that much because your milk isn't even fully in. Um, but I have some just in case. I have a set of four. So that's all that's in there. In this pocket, I have just a headband. In this little bag, it has just some hair accessories, so ponytail holders. Um, hey boy, um, little clips and bobby pins and just all that kind of stuff. And I'm also going to put a, um, one of the little stretchy cloth headbands that you put on your face, like when washing your face and whatnot. Um, one of those is going in here and this is just my hubbies. It's just, um, uh, Bailey Move Boy. Uh, just toothbrush and deodorant. That's really all that he needs. Um, I'm not going to bring his razor if he, you know, I don't plan on being there for that long. Um, if he really wants to shave, he can come home and do it, which will probably be a lot easier. Um, so, on the inside, um, up top in the zipper part, I have socks. A pair of, you know, soft, warmer socks, like normal ankle socks, and just a pair of soft, 
um, thinner socks. I'm not much of a socks person, so I don't even know if I'll really use them, but I have them. And then I have nursing bras. I have just one that's got a little bit more shape to it, I guess, to wear home. Um, so I have that one. And like a sports bra kind of tank. That's really a nursing one, but I have that. And then this one that I just got the other day after my breastfeeding class, which I'm really excited about. It's the um, Pina Pod brand one. It's the Ultimate Seamless, I think is the name of it. It is so comfortable. Um, it's got the clasp at the back, but you can't even feel it. It's that comfortable. So this can be a sleeping bra, lounging bra. I will probably wear this all the time. Um, so I'm bringing that. And then over here are the infamous granny panties. I bought them specifically for this occasion from Walmart. Just a cheap little, I think it was like a six pack for like five or six dollars or something. Um, so yes, I have those. And on for the rest of the bag, I'll just go ahead and take hubby stuff out. Um, get that out of the way. All I have for him... Um, is his going home outfit, um, some athletic shorts, t-shirt, he'll just sleep in that, lounge in that, um, two pairs of boxers and two pairs of socks. So that's all that I have for him. He probably wouldn't care if I had him anything at all. Um, but we have that. And then for my clothes wise, I have a robe and this is just a thin material robe. It's, um, Three quarter length sleeves down to the knees um, because I don't like a big heavy robe I'm, I probably won't be cold it's it's still gonna be really hot here um, but I have that maybe for just to cover up a little bit um, so I have my robe I have slippers these were on clearance at Walmart I went ahead and just got these so I could go ahead and have them in here so I have slippers, and I wear house shoes around the house all the time, um, so I'm sure I'll be wearing those quite a bit. And I have a nursing tank, just a solid white, and then a black pair of just lounge pants, and they're um, like the Capri um, length lounge pants. And then I have another nursing tank. This is a navy blue. It has, um, I thought this one was cute. I got it on clearance at Target. It has a little lace up here at the top. So that's another nursing tank that will go with these pajama pants. So I have that that I will wear, you know, after delivery and just hanging out in the hospital. Hopefully won't be there for long. Um, but I did not worry about getting... Um, a nightgown you know that opens in the front for nursing and everything because I'm not a gown person and I probably wouldn't really like it and I would probably not wear it after the hospital so I didn't even worry about spending the money on it I'll just wear those with my nursing tank and that'll be what I wear um, and then I also have just a little tank and a t-shirt and then my going home outfit which is just a comfy cotton brown skirt, you know, stretchy at the waist, very comfortable. Um, so I have that and then just a little undershirt for my top. And then this is just one of my maternity shirts. So that's what I plan on wearing home. Nothing special, just super comfortable. But kind of looking cute, you know, at the same time. I'm not going to be like total just pajamas and whatever. I'm not that type of person. But some people are and that's fine. And then I have a little travel hair dryer. Can't go without that. And pads. Um, I never used pads. Didn't really know what kind to get. So I just got the always kind. I think they're the overnight. I didn't want to bring the whole thing. I plan on just using what they have at the hospital. Um, but I have these just in case. And then I have my bag of toiletries. And 
And here I have a little body poof, a little clip for my hair, a toothbrush, and then what else? I have um, some mouthwash, razor, it, everything's just kind of in here. Mouthwash, razor, body wash, toothpaste, lotion, hairspray, yes, I have hairspray, um, deodorant, cleanser for my face, contact solution, chapstick, um, eye makeup remover, shampoo, conditioner, um, moisturizer, eye cream, cannot go without all that stuff, knowing me. Um, so that's what I have as far as whole trees go. I will have to put my um, glasses in here last minute, so that's one of my last minute things. Um, so that's all that I have in here now, and I will tell you my last minute things for my bag, which is just my glasses, my glasses case, um, my makeup bag, which I already have all my makeup in my bag sitting on my bathroom counter. I usually have it organized in the drawer. And then my hairbrush. I only have one that I love to use, so my hairbrush. And then my flat iron. And yes, I am taking my flat iron. I am that type of person, and I will use it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all that I have for me and hubby. So for Kaylin's bag, um, this is her diaper bag. It says... Um, Skip Hop Studio Toe and Charcoal Dot. Um, I have all of her things in here. And um, all of her things are pretty much ready to go. I mean, I don't believe, yeah, I don't have anything left to put in here. So, all of this is ready. So, we'll go ahead and show you that. Well, I'll go ahead and show you the outer pockets first. Okay, down here. I have passies just in case. I don't just intend to give it unless totally necessary. Um, but these are um, passies, sterilized, ready to go. Um, diaper rash cream for the cloth diapers. And the baby fingernail clippers and file. So we'll have that just in case. That's all that's in there. And then in this pocket, I have all my cute little girly things. <laughs> I have um, hair bows, which it's going to need to be poofed up after being in there. Um, but yeah, just little hair bows and headbands for whatever I want her to wear. <laughs> so, have that in there. It's the fun part about having a little girl. And in this side pocket, I have two burp cloths. And in the other side pocket, I have just hand sanitizer. Can't have enough of that. Back pocket back here. I have a muslin swaddling blanket. And here I just have just little throwaway bags. Okay, now for the inside. A lot fits in here, FYI. <laughs> it's crazy. It just like packs and packs and packs. Um, but I have it totally stuffed because I have this big plush blanket on top. Um, so I have this blanket that I'm going to be taking just for a warm blanket. Um, something cute for backgrounds for pictures. So I have that blanket. And then that's the inside. I've got everything organized and um, in little pockets. And I'll show you everything that I have. I have a um, receiving blanket, and I have a package of wipes, and I have just three newborn disposable diapers. I know that my hospital will have them, but these are just in case, and we are cloth diapering, but for the hospital, um, we're just going to be using disposables until we get home. And 
items as far as clothes go. I have this shirt that I made for her. It has her name embroidered on that. It's just the um, long sleeve um, side snap shirt. It has the little cuffs on the hands. And I have this onesie and this onesie and then a newborn sleeper. So I'm not taking that much as far as clothes go for her, um, but I have a little bit. I mean, I know that I'm overpacking for her, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm just, I'm having fun. I'm, I'm ready for my little girl, and if I want her to wear it in the hospital, she will. If not, she won't. Um, and then I have this little outfit, which has um, the pants with the little foot in them and um, another long sleeve shirt that's got the little cuffs on the sleeves that goes with the pants and then this is just a little short sleeve side snap shirt that matches that little outfit so that's good for a, a good little outfit from the hospital um, to keep her warm and it's not going to rub her umbilical cord stump and all that kind of stuff so that and then her coming home outfit which is this little onesie dress and it's got a cute little long sleeve cardigan that goes over it and then just little socks that match that so that's her coming home outfit Nothing special, just a little comfy thing. Okay, I do have two cloth diapers that I will be bringing, and mainly because the shirt that I made for her that has her name on it, um, they match that, and that's going to be one of her first outfits to wear that will take her picture in with the cute little bow that I showed you at the beginning. So I have two cloth diapers, and then I also have a liner in here that we will use just to keep them a little bit cleaner with the meconium and everything. Um, so, have those. also have a wet bag since I am bringing those. And I have my one of my nursing covers. This is an undercover nursing cover. And then I'm also bringing one of the bottles that we'll be using just in case which is the Tommy Tippy bottle um, because if for some reason you know the she's not latching on something happens she has to go away whatever the case may be I'd rather have my bottle than the um, not so great um, hospital bottle so I have this and then in this back zippy pocket I have just some smaller things I have a little hat for her and two pairs of hand mittens so she won't scratch herself and then I just have some socks that kind of go along with the um, onesies and outfits that I have yeah and I believe that's all that I have I mean I guess I really don't have too much for her um, but in reality I mean I really don't need anything besides just something to take her home in um, so yeah, I think that's it for her. Okay, so like I mentioned at the beginning, um, I have my camera bag sitting there that has is going to have my camera in it, my camcorder, the chargers for both of those, the connector um, for the computer to upload those, um, and extra memory cards and everything. So we'll have that. Um, you saw my bobby pillow that I'm going to be taking, and I mentioned that we'll have the fan. Um which might be a good idea for some people. Um, and then for the, the accessories miscellaneous bag, that is going to have our laptop, laptop charger, um, headphones, mainly for my husband, <laughs> um, phone charger, and I will also have 
um, some snacks in there, some hard candies, um, just some random snacks. I don't have the snacks yet. Maybe just some, I don't know what. I'll figure that out pretty soon. Um, and some quarters for the vending machines and whatever, just in case husband wants to go down there or whatever. Um, so... I will also have a notepad that I ha can just take notes, write down, you know, everything as far as labor goes, um, anything that I want to jot down, I'll have a notepad. And I'll also have her baby book in there. Um, and this is the, I know I've talked about it before in one of my videos a while back. Um, this is the Just One Year, I think is what it is, the Carter's Brand by Target. Um, it's that. I love this. I have a lot of things, you know, already filled out for pre you know, like during pregnancy, so it's ready for her and her little footprints, so I'll have that. I'll put my list down below in the description box just in case um, you are interested. And, um, oh, and I forgot to mention, of course, your um, health care information, insurance information, all that kind of stuff, but I always have that with me anyways. Um, your birth plan, if you have one, um, and any books or anything like that that you might want to reference to, um, you know, during after delivery and all that kind of stuff. And I am not a um, reader kind of person, um, especially if I'm not, if there's other things going on, I'm not going to be able to sit and read or sit and watch a movie. So I'm not reading anything entertainment wise go. Um, I will have my phone, which that keeps me entertained. And I will have the computer, which that keeps me entertained. Um, so yeah, um, I guess that's it as far as what's in my hospital bag and what we're taking. So yeah, I guess we are pretty much ready to go. And of course, I didn't mention the car seat, duh, <laughs> that's a given. Um, we're going to in install the, um, <clears throat> the base to the car seat, um, in a couple days. <clears throat> so that'll be ready to go. Um. But yeah, we are waiting on her, and um, yeah, we can't wait. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and it helped any of you guys out. Bye, bye guys.